join us. Join us. Join us. <laughs> Join us! Join us. Join us. Join us. Won't you join us? <laughs> Say hi, everybody. What are we doing tonight? Okay. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, tonight we are continuing to play with these this little piggy pigments and find ways to use them that don't necessarily involve doing a bloom. So in the last pour I actually used mix as my pouring medium and I mixed some of the colors with Amsterdam paints and golden paints and put the this little piggy pigment into the already mixed up paint with mix. Tonight I want to try a different recipe something a little bit different. Let me show you the pigments that I'm using and I will tell you what I have mixed them with. So this first one is Nightfall. This is beautiful. Very, very, very pretty. Beautiful blue-violet color. Nice and deep with the beautiful iridescence on there. Gorgeous. Okay, you're off. <laughs> Where's the... You okay? Because yeah. like, I'm staying right here. The next one we're using is Rose Quartz. This is an absolutely amazing color. I'm kind of obsessed with it right now. This beautiful pink, just iridescent, holographic, just shimmery lusciousness. Really, really pretty. I love that rose quartz. And then we are using Mermaid, which is a gorgeous sparkly blue. Absolutely in love with. Yummy stuff. And then last but not least, we have Sangria this one. It's a pretty color. Okay, so I'm also using Golden's paint, uh, Prussian Blue, and this is actually mixed with a little bit of what I had left over of some deep turquoise. So this is Prussian Blue and deep turquoise. So I'm using this as my opaque to go in between all of the sparkly layers, and then I also have 24 karat gold from Decor Americana Decor Metallics. Um, okay, so the pouring medium that I've used tonight, the first thing I did was disperse the pigments in some of our Gessonia varnish. So I had a little bit, maybe like a teaspoon, in the bottom of each of these cups. I put my scoop in there and I mixed it up. And then once everything was wet down and incorporated, then I added my Liquitex Gloss Medium. So this is Liquitex Gloss Medium. It has varnish in it already. Um, it is nice and thick and creamy. And this is one that was just the pigment with the varnish in it and then added to the Liquitex Gloss Medium. I didn't add anything else to these, so there's no water or anything else um, to the ones that are just pigment. To the gold, I added a little bit of water and some Floetrol because it was pretty thick. It's still thicker than everything else, but I think it's gonna be all right. And then also to the Payne's Gray Turquoise, I added some Floetrol and some water. So now they all have a pretty similar consistency. These two still feel a smidge thicker than everything else, but I think it's gonna be all right. Okay, let's get started. So what I wanna do tonight, I want to treat these like regular acrylic paints. I don't wanna think about them like, oh, it's only for blooms or anything like that. I wanna actually pour with them. So that's a 10 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. Okay, and that's the Liquitex Gloss Medium with the green label. So this product used to be called Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, and it had a different label that was gray. Now they've changed the name to just Gloss Medium, and it has the green label. 
don't pay more for the older bottle. It's the same stuff. So, Liquitex gloss medium. Let's do this. For this size canvas, 10 by 20, we need about seven and a half ounces of paint to cover the canvas. I have way more than enough paint here, and I have as a background color flow extender, some more of that beautiful Prussian blue. And I also have Amsterdam titanium white. So I was thinking maybe we would do a split background, but I want to do my wandering straight pour first, and then I'm going to use the two different colors of flow extender or see how it goes. So let's layer a cup with these amazing colors. All right, I'm going to start off with just a smidge of the 24 karat gold, just a very, very little tiny bit. And then we're going to put some of the darker blue, the Prussian and turquoise, and then some of that nightfall, and then some of this beautiful sangria. That's such a pretty color. And then I'm going to put some of the 24 karat gold. And I'm going to come back to that Prussian blue, just so I have another layer of the tube paint. And we're going to put some mermaid on there. Some of that rose quartz. And then we're going to do it again. Prussian blue, nightfall, sangria, 24 karat gold, mermaid. Oh, I should have put a layer of the Prussian in there. Prussian blue. Alright, let's start with that. I'm going to put a little bit of this gold down, have as a runway to pour into. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, and we're going to pour this one, and we're going to see if we even need more paint, because technically we need seven ounces, but I think by the time we put our flow extender on, it should be fine. Here we go, this is gonna be a straight pour, a wandering straight pour across the canvas. We're gonna start over here. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love, are you ready? Here we go. blue on this side and the white on that side. Let's see. about splitting it. Let's see. It's a neat idea, but if you want to put blue on both sides, put blue on both sides. <clears throat> you the queen of this castle. Mm 
pressing, but that should stretch out again. That's really neat. I think I like that one just like that. Hmm? I think I like that just like that. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to fix up this side. I need to get complete coverage. Go over this edge. I should have pre-painted this one, but I don't know. Hindsight is always 20 20. And this is actually why I bring pre-painting stuff is like, you know, especially with something that has a lot of transparency like Floetrol, your edges and sides don't always get complete coverage, so. Yeah, but you'd know which part was going to end up being blue and which yeah, part was going to end up being blue. Yeah, that's why I'm not beating myself up about yeah. it. <laughs>
Around the corner too. Hmm? Around the corner too. is already super super shiny so I can see all the that bling from the this little piggy pigments and the Liquitex gloss medium with very minimal amounts of flow troll. so this edge looks like it needs some touching up anyways this looks pretty cool um I will show you guys this one once dry thank you so much for being here tonight with us we'll see you in a minute okay so this is a couple days later now and this one is totally dry I love this piece. It came out so pretty. This was Journey to Valhalla. That was a wandering ring pour. And uh, beautiful, beautiful lines. Gorgeous colors in here. We use that pyro orange and the greenish blue from Amsterdam. Let me see if we can get closer. And the Naples yellow and titanium white. Lots of cute cells in here. I love those. It is dried beautifully. I love these lines. Just so pretty. So this one was really cool. I really enjoyed this piece a lot. I hope you guys did too. Okay, so this is the next day. And, um... It looks pretty good, except for a couple of little spots. So this was our pour using this little piggy pigments and Liquitex gloss medium. This is the pouring medium and no Floetrol. And I think they were a little thick. A little bit of cracking, cracking happening up there. A little bit happening in here. And a little bit happening on the edge over here. But in spite of that, Look at these lines. Gorgeous, 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 shimmery, sparkly color. The mermaid and the sangria and the gold. And nightfall, such a pretty purple. And that mermaid is blinging like crazy. <laughs> so, uh, I think this one did not quite work. I think that maybe a little bit more flow trial would have been a better idea because I think where it had just mixed with just the Liquitex as the pouring medium, it was a little bit thick. And that's why we're getting that cracking there on the corner. So, but this was an interesting experiment and I am happy to see that I could use them in a straight pour. So I will definitely do this again. And, um, you know, we'll play some more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I really do appreciate every one of you and I love to hear your comments and your suggestions, and uh, we'll all learn together. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.